viewers! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Faster Than Light. I'm going to stick with the Kestrel, I think. Now, the six unique aliens I think could be tough, but this one, tough little ship, this one I think we can cheap out. Because if I can find an asteroid field and drop my shields, that should knock me back to 1 HP. I can fly back to a store and maybe unlock it there, but let's see how that goes. Who's our crew today? Rebecca, Luanti, and Bjorn. Bjorn. Alright, oh good, start in a nebula. We, well, let's be smart enough to actually properly move everyone about this time. Alright. A couple nebulas. Should be able to mine this sector pretty well, given how much we'll slow the rebel fleet down. Small refueling outpost and a rebel scouts. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna ruin these guys' day. So we have a regular beam and a hull laser. Well let's put some hurt on the weapons. First thing you do is knock out my shields and Brutal. I mean, I took down your weapons too, but still. Two points of damage right off the bat. That's kind of painful. Alright, everyone back where they were before. Just had to wait for Luanti to get there to get his experience from firing. Oh crap. Well, actually, Pilot, you might as well go and repair that because you won't be needing to do a lot of dodging of the fact they can't shoot me. Still, two damage on the very first fight. Not the best way to start things off. But hopefully we'll get some decent scrap. Twelve scrap, two missiles, so we're up two missiles. And a decent amount of fuel. It's not too shabby. I wonder... I might take this way around here. We'll see if I can get away with that, or I'll get caught by the rebels. Ooh, ship's data stores. Nine scrap isn't a lot, so I will attempt to download it. And it's a fight. So what do you have? An ion and a... Ion beam and a burst laser. Well, if I can... Actually, let me switch these around. Oh, fire. I can vent that, actually, by opening all these doors here. And let's get to shields and fix those up. Actually, let's uh, nail that weapon with an Artemis missile. It missed. Oh, and I knocked it off just in time, and the fire's out, so that's not too bad. Again, more damage I would have liked to not take, but... You know, at this point, when the risk of taking more than one damage is kind of low, I'm probably going to leave the Artemis in the second slot from now on, just so I'll have my burst laser available. Yay, one whole damage. Okay, Luanti, you need to stop barking the dog here and actually do some damage. Ions up, ions down. I won't lie, I'm very tempted to shoot their pilot chair. Knock out their on navigation, but... There we go. Now we've got this in the bag. One more volley ought to do it. And... Pew pew. Boom. So 9 scrap becomes 15 scrap, 3 fuel, and a missile. Not too shabby. Oh, well, here's that asteroid field I mentioned. Ooh, and you've got a... Well, I think that one more hit on that missile, I might not even take damage this fight. Nope. Oh crap, shield's offline. We need to do that in a hurry. Or else stuff like this is going to happen. Yep, yeah, that's a fire. Speaking of fire... Okay, Luanti, back to weapons. You Actually, your engineering's still low pressure, so let's not go there. 
two fuel, a missile, and eleven scrap. You know what? I don't think that's enough to repair my ship to full anyhow, though, even if I take the damage, so there's not much point to doing that right now. But let's definitely get the hell out of here. Okay, so the Rebel Fleet's coming in. I probably can't make all the jumps or I wanted to, so let's just find nothing. Now to the Nebula. We'll slow them down, make some money. Eight fuel. Wow, if only had one drone part, I could have nagged eight fuel. Or snagged eight fuel, rather. That's painful. Ooh, Federation ship. Let's follow them and try and help them. Thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come on board to abandon their wrecked ship. Hey, I got a Mantis. You're on shields. Aced. Cool. Well, now we have enough to fully power, or rather, demand all the systems that require manning. Oh, and you're trying to run. That's not cool. So you got an ion and a cutting beam. Well, I really wish that my shields just keep getting absolutely wrecked here. See more damage on the shields, of course, because the mantis can't fix things. One fuel, one drone part, and nine scrap. Well, that doesn't even pay for my costs. Well, I guess I could jump back and maybe trade that drone part. No, probably not. All right, everybody, get everything fixed up here. That's much quicker. I really want an NG. Alright, so back to weapons with you. Back to engine with you. Once you've finished fixing that shield. If you ever. Okay, he, medbay for you. Get you back up to full HP. There you go. Medbay off. Power up the weapons again. So we slowed him down enough so they get an extra jump or two. Oh, good. Power's out. Let's see. What do you have for weaponry? Cutting beam and an anti-drone. So if I shut down my engines in O2 and power up my shields, you can't actually hurt me. Neat. Alright, so let's put fire on your engines. Or on your weapons, rather. As long as my O2 doesn't run out, I can keep this up. Okay, let's power on the shields for a second and power up the O2 again while their weapons are damaged. Oh, their weapons are no longer damaged. Shields up! Is that worth XP, by the way? Two. Let's see. So I power you down. I power you up. It was worth XP. Okay, so let's uh, let's shoot this out, shall we? I had no idea it worked like this. So there's uh, something for your future knowledge viewers. If you're in the middle of a fight, any raising of a shield counts towards experience, including if you drop the shields yourself. So have to keep that in mind for the future. Let's get out of this nebula here. Refilling outpost? Yeah, we always got. Oh, and a beam weapon. This could really suck. If that missile knocks out our shields, we're in for a lot of hurt. Oh, here it comes. Got my shields up in time. Good job, Estad. If I can knock down their drone, I can cheap out their shields again. Fantastic. So let's depower the shields. You're not even on the shields. That's not going to help much. Repower the shields. Depower the shields. Repower the shields. This is kind of cheap. Sail free. Easy XP. What do you got now? Yeah, 13 already. Two missiles, a drone part, and 10 scrap. Three fuel, two missiles, and 16 scrap from the station. Got decent amounts of loot here, viewers. 
Well, that's a dead end. And there's more options here. Let's let's take a trip south, shall we? Another asteroid field. Well, we're definitely fighting for sure here. Definitely gotta take out their weapons, though. That's a breach. Well, it's just a matter of time now. Or, you know, they might not get hit by anything. Two fuel, a drone part, and 13 scrap. Awesome. Now, I hear a sound of fire. Yeah, there's some fire. Depressurize everything. Just in case that gets damaged. Actually, let's have you explore, because there's no fire anywhere else. Nope, I think we're good. Here's gotta repair those sensors, though. In fact, since that's down, let's heal up our guys here. Let's work repairing those sensors. In fact, Mantis, get out of there. You're terrible at fixing things. You do fix the sensors. There you go. Now we know there's no fire. These ones are still... Yeah, they've got that different border color there, so they're definitely still... Oh, now they're good. Okay. 125 scrap. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Still no store. Ah, I shouldn't have jumped down there again. A rebel ship. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. The weapons are always ready to go. Cutting beam, bomb, and a heavy laser. Well, I'm going to take a laser shot anyhow. That bomb missed. Okay, engine guy, get on the O2. Come on, bring up the shields. Yes! Alright, we're in business. If I can injure their shields some more, I can start cheaping my Mantis' shield powers again. Or Mantis's... Well, that's a legitimate one there. <laughs> And they're trying to run. Well, that's not allowed. Uh, let's take out their piloting, because that's more reliable. More XP for my Mantis. Okay, let's stop that, since I'm going to get be stupid and get tagged by that heavy laser. Or not. Two missiles, drone part, and some scrap. Serious cash. Should probably upgrade something soon. Ooh, fuel. You know what? I have plenty of fuel right now, so I will not buy anything. I will, however, go to that distress beacon. No store in this map. Oh. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Quest marker in the next sector. Well, let it, let's get the hell out of this sector, then, and head to the next one. FTL drive. Intelligent life forms. Investigate. Try to communicate peacefully. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. But they nudge me away from the ship and I follow them to an NG ship's crash site. I pick up an NG, two missiles, a drone part, and eleven scrap. And I'm actually gonna get as much as I've cheaped him up and leveled him really quickly, I'm gonna get Taladrin on the shields there. And keep him around for fighting? Or should I keep him on the shields? Oh, that's tough. No, I'm going to switch that up. Uncharted Nebula and a rock-controlled sector. Well, the Nebula would give us lots of chance to pick stuff up. And wow, there's not a lot of friendly sectors here, so I think my chances of getting that NG ship are pretty slim. So, let's go to a Nebula. The Nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons will be no easy task, but now you can barely navigate it. Oh, the quest is right there. Perfect. It's a trap. It's not a trap. And they patched up my hull, and hey! Oh, I can pick up cloaking. Nice and early, I can pick up cloaking. Yes. Definitely. Even if I can't actually use it, 
I'm going to pick up cloaking. And let's start making our way through this nebula. Hopefully we won't run into too many situations where we have no, or rather, halved power. Well, this is a fight. Ooh, cloaking option. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Let's see if I can use my stealth to get to it. I do. Two fuel, two missiles, 14 scrap, and no fight. Cool. Wow, the rebel fleet's, rebel fleet's already moving in. That was fast. What's here? Pirate ship. Yes, let's attack the pirate ship. Ooh, you've got... Uh, you've got a missile launcher and a laser, so I will cloak to dodge you when the time comes, for sure. Yeah, that's a pair of misses. That's what you get. Oh, I'm so glad I found that cloaking this early. Oh, except I missed with both... Oh, that was awful. There we go. Let's try... Well, their, their missiles are offline. Let's try hitting their drone. Oh, that was enough to actually depower them. So we'll get some cheap XP here. Start leveling up to Ladrin. Oh! Got a little overzealous there. Took some damage. I'm not trying to run. Well, that's not allowed. Artemis on their engines, if you would. Boom. Surrender. Two missiles, a drone part, and 14 scrap. Now for Sector 2, that's not a bad surrender. I'll take it. Now, someone got hit there, didn't he? 100, 100, 100. No, I guess he got missed. Awesome. All right. Let's actually upgrade my power so I could afford to keep that cloak up. And my engines at evasion. Let's keep moving. How much I can do at the store? I don't think I have any gear to sell. Nope. Well, I could repair. Ah, let's just skip it. Fight time! Automated Rebel Scouts. And it's trying to run. That's no good. Well, this is going to hurt. But I did manage to... No fire? No fire. Did manage to knock off its most important weapon. Took a couple damage. Not great, but... More fuel and scrap. That's the important stuff. Oh, and there's another store. Well, since I'm in this nebula, I'm going to take my time. Cruise around here for a bit. No attack. So really nothing of interest at that jump point at all. Oh, try to stay hidden. No, I am definitely going to fight you guys, for sure. Because your missile launcher? I got that beat with my cloak. Invisible. Sorry that didn't work out for you guys. I'll just knock your weapons offline now. 21 missiles, that's pretty good for this point, but I'm getting a lot of mileage out of that cloak, I and mean, it's taking me a lot longer to move through fights. Probably making things a lot more tedious for you viewers, so I apologize for that, but, uh... Oh, and your missiles are back online. Let's hopefully I can dodge you. Okay, got you targeted already. Oh, and they're trying to run, so let's cloak it up. Whoosh. Never get tired of that. And we'll missile their pilot. Surrender! One fuel, one drone part, and 14 scrap. You know what? Not this time. So sorry. Boom! End of fight. Oh yeah, that was a lame surrender. I got way more out of blowing them up. Now, I do want to get to that store. Probably have at least a couple, two more jumps in the nebula for sure. Oh, black market dealer. Nah, too expensive. I'm going to blow you up instead. You're a boarder. I just saw you. Hundred and fifty HP. Well, that's why I've got a mantis and two humans, I guess. Kick that thing's ass if you'd be so kind. Well, you only have the Okay, so other than the fact that you're being really annoying by shooting me with your drones.
You actually can't hurt me that much. Okay, please blow up their drone control. This is getting silly. Depower the engines, power up the... Okay, I don't hear any more fighting, so I think we beat them. You get there and fix that hole in my engines, please. I'm blowing up my doors. That's not cool. Well, since only two of you can fight anyhow, I'll send the two guys that are best healed. Okay. Gotta watch the HP, though. Yes, I know. Orders detected. Okay, let's heal these guys up. So you get there, because you need to keep my shields up. Asted, and you guys get in there and fight that thing. Especially because it's not actually fighting back right now. Just fixing a hole so you guys can get out of there when you start to get hurt. Wow, I've never actually fought something that had a boarding drone before except for the last boss. It's kind of frustrating. Two fuel, two missiles, 22 scrap. Other than the fact that you put a bunch of holes in my hull, that's not too bad. Okay, back to weapons with you. Bjorn, back to engineering. I think I fixed that problem in my... Oh yeah, go Angie. Cool. Uh, let's jump to the end of the nebula. This is going to be a lightning storm for sure. Oh no, I would really push my luck though. Amanda's expedition vessel. Oh, how nice. They just shoot me because I'm around. Well, screw you guys too. on my cloak. Okay, my cheap button. Whoosh! Now, your, your, okay, your evasion isn't going up when I'm cloaked, I don't think. That's the only downside. But I can't cloak forever, so... Um, cheat with my shields again. Hmm. If for some reason the devs ever end up actually watching this LP, I, uh... Tell them they should fix this bug. Well, not a bug, but fix this exploit, I guess. Maybe I should stop doing it. I kind of feel like a jerk, but this game's hard enough. I'm going to cut corners where I can. Three fuel, two missiles, 18 scrap. We'll jump here, then the store, then the exit. 11 scrap and a defense drone. That's pretty good. I have to buy a drone control now. Oh, scrap recovery arm. Ten extra scrap from any source. Sorry, drone recovery arm. You've been uh, outbought. And repair my ship. And... Another power bar? Or I could go for another shield. No, I'm going to power up my doors. Definitely my doors in case I get boarded. And let's head to the exit, which is just on the edge of the rebel territory. Come on. Yes! Home free. Let's keep moving. Ooh, the Zoltan Homeworlds. Let's go there. Another nebula. Yay! Lots of nebula. Well, let's do what I did last time and take advantage of all this. I think because it's not actually a nebula area, they'll be slowed down more in here, too. Without active sensors, I just look at the viewports. It's eerily quiet. More eerie quiet. Well, that's this is kind of a bust. Let's actually make some forward progress then. Nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew. Well, if you're terrified, don't shoot the one guy you find who's probably not going to try and start something. You did? Okay. Bad luck for you then. I 
talking about a cloaking this time. Unless that shot gets a little bit too close to me. Eh, cloak. Wow, I'm terrible. I can't hit anything. Well, I'm gonna spin one of my 26 missiles and, uh... Nuke their weapons here. Oh! Yay, there's a point of damage I need to take. I'll depressurize that just in case. Nah, of course your weapons are offline. Alright, all their oxygen is definitely gone from that room, so I'll close the doors again. You guys gonna surrender here? Because... I'm gonna kick your asses if you don't call it a day. And I'm not gonna feel guilty, because you started it. You're really gonna die for this, aren't you? You're that scared. You poor bastards. Unless, of course, I can't hit you, in which case you're fine. More evasion. 6 of 15. Really? He resisted damage. Neat. Again, that's gotta, I've seen it before, though. It's gotta be a rock ship trait. You just, you just wanna... Thank you. There you go. 4 fuel, a drone part, and 13 scrap. You know what? You're terrified? Yes. You can... I will take your surrender. See what's up here. Repairs. Nope. 